Well, 48 is on your side with a warning that criminals are now working in groups, stealing your mail in hopes of finding checks. In today's Financial Friday, 48's Haley Baker spoke to an expert who has a warning. We're starting to see an increase in check fraud. And what suspects or criminals are doing is that they're going to residential areas and businesses and they're stealing mail. And from that mail, what they're looking for are your checks. Redstone Federal Credit Union's Denise Cassidy says this is not anything new, but she says now thieves are working in more organized rings. And they're going to take all your mail. From that mail, they're going to dump it out and what they're looking for are your checks. Because if you think about it, your checks have quite a bit of information about you. They're going to have your usually your first name, last name, your address, your routing number, which is actually your financial institution, and also your account number. And she says criminals are doing two things with your checks. Check washing, what that will do is it helps the criminal to remove some items off of your check, such as maybe the amount and also the payee, and they'll leave your signature intact. So then they will reissue the check. They can reissue the check to a new payee, perhaps to themselves, and they will change the amount. And secondly, she says your information could be sold. The do is will actually sell the check online to dark online collaborators. Okay. And what they'll do is they're selling your check so it can be used over and over again or even your information. But Cassidy says there are things you can do to protect your money and your information. If you must write checks, be careful about putting them into your mailbox. I would strongly suggest, and I suggest this to all my family members, if you're writing checks, please take them to the post office themselves. Okay. You know, if it does happen to you, there's something, first thing, if you do notice that perhaps you've looked at your account and you thought, you know, this $30 check I wrote, why is it 3000 Immediately contact your financial institution. And I would also do a police report as well. For today's Financial Friday, I'm Haley Baker, 48 on your side.